welcome to One Word Show, the most talked about show with my therapist. Today we have Zachary Rosen on the show with us, and I am your host, Jason Joyner. Zach, are you familiar with the show at all? Uh, I am. I've watched a few episodes and really enjoy it, so I'm really honored to be here. Awesome. So you are, have a little bit of an advantage of some of our some of our guests, so you kind of have an idea of what's going on. Um, you tell me a little bit, I guess, before for the audience. Something. Tell me about yourself, Zach. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a chef at a local restaurant downtown. Oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah. How long have you been chefing? Uh, ooh, 25 years. And just so you guys are aware of this, he's actually my twin brother. I don't know if you can tell by our beards. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you. It's 25 years. That's a long time. Do you have a specialty that you like to... Uh, seafood. Seafood. Excellent, excellent. You just did chili not too long ago, didn't you? Like yeah, so did you. That's uh, yeah, I where did. we met. Hey, how about that? We met at a chili competition. We enjoyed each other's beards, and then we said, you know what? We should be on a show. So here we are. So you know kind of, okay, for those of you at home who don't know what One Word Show is all about, what we're going to do, I've randomly generated two words. I'm going to give them to you, Zach, and you're going to pick one. And awesome. And we're going to freestyle on that one. So are you ready for the words? Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, so our words are, do I remember the words? That's a good question. That's why I have a goldfish memory and my phone, because it's right here for me. We've got cheerful and materialistic. Whoa. That's, uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah cheerful. A, so, right. so cheerful is the way you, you want to go. Uh, sure. I think it could be a little more entertaining than materialistic. All right. Okay. That's well, that's great. I'm glad you uh, you went with that with that direction. But let's talk about materialistic for just a little bit. Why did you not choose materialistic? Do you find that maybe you've been materialistic in the past? Uh, I just don't like the way the word sounds. Okay, let's talk about that a little bit. When you don't like the way the word sounds. Yeah, it's it's a long word, materialistic. It's a long I word. I think there's uh, <laughs> some implications there that maybe you nor I would want to get into. Well, now I want to get into them because they're long and... Give me an example, Zach. Help I think, here. personally, I think people are way too materialistic. Okay. I would agree with that statement. Too many materials makes for no fun. Yeah. And you have to have, like, responsibilities and do exactly. adulting and things like that. Yes. Yeah. That makes I think sense. So. Have you had a... Have you had an experience in the past where you've met somebody that's been uber materialistic and you thought, oh, my gosh, if you were any more materialistic, I'd blink? <laughs> I'd lose my cool, maybe? Sure, okay, yeah, let's talk I about just that feel guy for just a second. Or gal. We're constantly we bombarded with, you know, advertisements to get us to buy and purchase. And I think uh, a lot of the corporate companies are molding us and steering us in directions to... Uh, they're determining who we are as people now. Okay, Through that's fair. us purchasing their goods and services. And on that alone, I definitely didn't want to talk about materialistic people because down with the man, down with him. The so man. let's talk the man. <laughs> <laughs> Which man is that? Is that the, the raging man? Yeah, rage against machine man. I like it. I like it. Well, let's talk about our other word then, cheerful. Cheerful. So why did you choose cheerful, Zach? I like it. You I like, like it? I like cheerful things. <laughs> okay. I like cheerful people. Cheerful people are yeah. good. Absolutely. They can be entertaining for they, sure. Provide hours of entertainment if they're just <laughs> cheerful enough. B cheerful and blissful as well. Well, it also, I think, goes with the T-shirt. Um, I look at gnomes and dwarfs from the D&D &D realm as being, in my eyes, cheerful. The, okay. So, gnomes and dwarves. Let's talk about this. Dungeons and Dragons. So is this something that you have a lot of experience with? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. I've been playing that since I was a uh, preteen. And actually, before moving to Wisconsin, was uh, with a group of guys we've been playing for years. Had a multi-year campaign. Awesome. So regularly, once a week, we. And do you still with with cooking? I understand you know with cooking, you don't get a lot of time to have free time. Well, not so much. The commute from here to uh, East Lansing, Michigan, is a little unbearable for a couple hours of Dungeons and Dragons. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you guys don't like all. What's that word I'm looking for? Telecommute? There you go. Telecommute. No, those we're big uh, words that I have so many Some of the guys are technologically with. savvy, I'm guessing, but so, I mean, we were just such a broad mix of people, I think, uh, in our more adult lives now. Sure. It's just not practical. Is it, is it even is it the same, though, as like being in a room full of people? Would it be the same thing having being online or Well, that's the cheerful with each other? aspect is being <laughs> with all those people in the same room. Sure. And that's, uh, I mean, that was half the fun because that was, you know, the only time we'd get to hang out. These were friends that we'd all, you know, known for years. Okay, and so Dungeons and Dragons, obviously a good place. We have our gnomes, we have our dwarves. They're also cheerful. What other, what, uh, what else about cheerful made you like? It's go just this a way? nice word. Just a nice word. What cheerful. Makes it so, cheerful. You're full of cheer. 
That's you know, than whether, being full of other things. That's for well, full that's, of beans, full of beer. I mean, you can be full, full of, of a lot of things. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Don't know what kind of language we're supposed to use, but you yeah, know. we just kind of go with the flow. I think I kept that one PG for fun for the kids at home. Right. You're welcome, Rachel. <laughs> Rachel's nice. my nine-year-old. She likes all. She's cheerful. She likes poop jokes too. So poop jokes are fun. Nice, I mean, yeah, it's a nice combination. It's uh, poop's a cheerful word too. So have you? So then, are you a cheerful person yourself? Uh, most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah, I can get you, aggravated. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, so, but most of the time you're cheerful. What aggravates you then? Stupid people. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is, I. Stupid people are definitely something that aggravates yeah. me as well. Is there a particular breed of stupid people? Or is it just all stupid in general? I think uh, you're a chef as well. So when you're working in close quarters and you have to deal with stupid people or when people are acting stupid. Oh, sure. That can get aggravating, especially when you're playing with knives and fire, potentially other dangerous Two things that you would think would keep stupid people away because at least still there was danger and they could... Well, like moths, they could be attracted to uh, the flames. Oh, that's true. Moths attracted. Yeah. No, that's also true. So you've been cheerful most of your life? Uh... Yeah, but I think it's one of those things you constantly have to work on. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So do you, is there something that you do? Do you have like a morning routine where you get up in front of the mirror and you go, all right, I'm going to be cheerful today? Well, I don't think I personally look at it as you know standing in front of the mirror giving myself a pep talk to be cheerful. It's just an attitude. Just an attitude that you have, a conscious decision that you yeah. make as you're going about meeting people. You've, Of course, we always have options when we of have encounters in, throughout the course of the day. So yeah, I guess just make a active choice to be more cheerful about the situation yeah i wake up i guess i choose my attitude for the day i like that choose the attitude for the day because that's i think that's something else that we see a lot nowadays where people let other people's actions dictate how they're gonna feel right and when you run into something like that that, that's not a very good way to live i used to be that i used to be that way i used to let people's what people did to me affect how i reacted to it yeah and that's not a good that's not good exactly you just kind of have to let it go (laughs) <laughs> just like Frozen. Yeah, absolutely. Never seen I, that movie. I have a nine-year-old, so I have. Yeah, it yeah. helps. You should watch it, though. It doesn't matter what age you are. Disney stuff, still good. Okay? All right. Uh, ch- Any other thoughts on cheerful today? No. You've I, been cheerful for your whole life. No, no the, by no. no means my whole life. I think uh, it was just a conscious decision the uh, more mature I got to try to attempt to be more cheerful. All right. Well, Zach, thank you for coming in today. You're very welcome. Um, Zach Rosen, and then I as your host, Jason. If you like the show, please subscribe on YouTube. You can push that little bell for notifications. You can also find other episodes on OneWordShow.com. And, of course, you can follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash OneWordShow. And if you didn't like the show, well, keep it to yourself or tell other people. Or, you know, it's okay if you don't have a sense of humor. We understand. Until next time, we'll see you. Thank you.